Hey guys, um, welcome back. Welcome back to my vlog. Um, thanks for coming back and checking out what I'm doing. Um, today I thought I would start a new segment that I'm gonna call tea or coffee with me. I love drinking tea and coffee and so I thought why not share it with you guys and have some tea or coffee with me and it'll be like you and I are on a coffee date and I'm doing all the talking. <laughs> So um, today I thought um, I would review some books that I've recently read that I really liked and let you know what I thought about them. So go make yourself some coffee and I'm going to go do the same and come back and join me for tea and coffee with me. See, I just um, finished my coffee. I love to make macchiatos at home, so this is my homemade latte macchiato. So, cheers. Thanks for having coffee with me today. So, I decided that today I would talk about some books that I have recently read that I really liked. Um, thought you guys might be interested in what I'm reading. Um, since I am an au pair and I have lots of free time, I thought I would share about what I thought. The first book I want to talk about is the book called room. If you haven't heard of this book or this movie, it was actually just released into a movie. This is the movie cover um, for the book and um, it's by Emma Donahue and um, yeah it was a number one bestseller but um, it just came out as a movie and actually the actress who plays the mother in this book was um, nominated and I think she won um, an award for her acting in this in the, in the movie. So um, the reason why I read this book and picked this book out was I'd actually seen the movie first. I tend to be a pretty big movie and television buff and so I like to watch a lot of movies and a lot of TV, especially around Oscar time. I love to watch all of the nominated movies and just see what they're about and see what who I think should win the best picture. I watched the movie first after I found out that it would it was nominated and so I watched it and I was just really astounded. What I loved so much about the movie in particular was that the the character who was speaking the most was the child and he's a young boy and so as an early childhood educator, as somebody who wants to work with young children, as someone who may have a child like him in my classroom at some point in my life, I found it fascinating and so that's why I decided to pick up the book because I thought, wow, what a unique opportunity to think through the lens of a child who hasn't grown out up outside of a single room, who his entire existence has only been inside this tiny room. And so that's ma the main reason why I read it, because I think um, as an educator, it made me think a lot about, you know, I don't know where my children are coming from. I don't know where the students that I'm going to be teaching are coming from. I don't know what their homes are like. I don't know if they had dinner last night. I don't know if their mom didn't come home. I don't know if the last meal they ate was two days ago. As an educator, we have to remember that not all of our kids come from the cookie cutter family where they eat dinner at six o'clock every night all together, sitting around the dinner table talking and so for me, I just wanted to better understand the psyche of a child who may have gone through some traumatic things. That's why I picked up this book. Um, the author does an amazing job. The book is in first person of the child. So um, you're reading this book and you're seeing the mind and the psyche of a, of a young boy. And I thought it was really, really well written and just really captivating. I could not put it down, even though I knew the ending um, because I'd seen the movie. However, the way it's written just made me want to keep reading. 
overall, I would really recommend this book. I especially recommend it for people who work with young children, for people who maybe work with people with mental disorders, etc. I think it just really helped me remember that as an educator, I can't assume that every child comes to my classroom with a full belly and with someone who was speaking to them last night and someone who was helping them with their homework and somebody who took them into bed. I really enjoyed this book. I would really recommend it. It was really eye-opening. Thankfully, I was able to get it here in Germany in English. I really recommend it. Also, if you haven't seen the movie, the movie is excellent, so check that out. So the next book that I wanted to tell you guys about, I literally just finished yesterday and I cannot stop thinking about it. I was really engrossed in it the entire time I was reading and actually I had a really hard time and couldn't stop reading it. So without further ado, um, it's on my phone because I rented it from the library in the States, but without further ado, I just read Nicholas Sparks' new book called See Me. I love Nicholas Sparks. When I lived in Korea, I went to a used English bookstore and found a ton of his books and just started reading. This book, See Me, it's his newest book and it's really, it was really, really good. From the prologue, I was hooked. I was like, what is going on? This book sounds crazy. It seems to me like less of a Nicholas Sparks style book. Yes, it's about romance, but it's not just about romance. For me, I just loved it. Every chapter, I, as new things were arriving, I was guessing about what was gonna happen. In the end, of course, I was completely surprised. I didn't get it right, but it was a really, really good book. Um, it's about a, a girl who's a lawyer and a guy who is a bad boy and maybe comes from the wrong side of the tracks in her mind. And so, of course, they fall in love because it's Nicholas Sparks, but I just really loved the story and how this boy, even though he was considered maybe a bad boy, didn't end up being, wasn't a bad guy. And he wasn't the bad guy in the story. And he ended up being the good guy. And so I read it really fast because I could not put it down. So I highly recommend See Me and also Room. They're both really excellent books. So that's the end of Coffee or Tea with Me. Thanks for joining me for the first episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and do more things like this, things that I would think about talking about with my girlfriends or my friends if we were having tea or coffee. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your coffee. I'm still drinking mine, working on mine. But thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you check out my blog about my life as an au pair and the rest of my vlogs that I've written so far. See you next time, and maybe next time we'll have tea. Who knows?